how's the adjustment been? Oh, it's been great. You know, uh, well, it's a little cold, but uh, other than that, it's been great. Our uh, kids have worked exceptionally hard, and uh, very excited to be here and be part of this program. You've obviously got a lot to do in terms of putting things in. If you were to name the top two or three things that you want to get done this spring that are most important, well, let's we'll start from the first premise. The first thing we have to do is we have to take care of the football. And, and the second thing, obviously, uh, was a major concern last season is we've got to secure the line of scrimmage. We can't have lost yards, run plays, and we can't have sacks. Going into the quarterback situation, now that Devin's healthy, how do you evaluate those guys? And what, what are your criteria to determine by the end of the spring what you want? Well, we're going to evaluate everything, just like every other position on our offense. We want to create competition. We want guys to go out and compete. And, uh, obviously, Devin getting healthy, it's great that he can get out here and get repetitions. You know, it's a new system for everybody. So uh, it's, it's going to be fun to watch every player progress. Can you talk a little bit about the process of, of moving to where you want to with the offensive line and, and sorting things out there? Well, you know, obviously, you try and plug guys in and out and, and, and in spring ball, really trying to find the pieces to the puzzle and then put the puzzle together as we get into the fall. Right now, with injuries and those type of things, you know, you're, you're a little limited with some of the guys not being able to go full speed or go through all the reps. So, uh, what we're trying to do is develop depth within our offensive team. What's your vision for the fullback position, both this year where you have some experienced players coming back, but then also kind of down the road where you're able to kind of engineer the makeup of the team? Well, you know, you know fullback position is an intriguing position. A lot of people don't use a true fullback anymore. And, uh, you know, most teams have gone away from it, as you see the evolution of the spread, more of the, the four wide receiver personnel sets, five wide receiver personnel sets, those type of things. So um, we'll use our fullback in many different ways. You know, um, Sometimes we'll use them as an inline you know, blocker type in the backfield, downhill you know, type runs. The other thing we'll do is put them out in formation, do some different things. So. Uh, you're always looking for intriguing athletes that can create mismatch opportunities for you. So you guys haven't gotten too far into this first impression from you of Devin on the field being able to work with the kids on? Well, I think he, Devin's worked extremely hard. He's had a great attitude. Uh, he gets better every day from the uh, you know knowledge of the system, understanding, learning. Um, obviously, coming off the injury, every day he's getting healthier too. So really pleased with how he's worked and where he's progressing to. What are you challenging to differently or is there anything you do differently? Well, I, I think uh, all our guys get challenged every day, you know, and how good can you be and how good do you want to be? In terms of installation, what are the lessons you learned from the last couple of stops and how do you implement those, like leading up to spring practice? Well, I, I think, you know, first thing you try to do is evaluate your roster and, and look at the things that you think you can do, um, you know, well and what maybe you, you can't do as well that you would like to do. So that, that's a big key. But you got to start from a teaching premise. You have to start from the base system. And so maybe some of the plays that we're running here in the first day or two may not be plays that we major in, you know, as we move forward, but they're, they're the base of the foundation. you got to start with the foundation and we'll grow from there. You watch more games last year or more practice? Uh, more games. What do you think you can do well right now? You well, you, you know, it, got a lot of guys playing different positions right now so I don't, I don't know you could say right now it would be fair to make an evaluation of where we're at. I really like how our kids have worked hard to develop their skill sets. As, as a full unit we're not prepared right now to really say that. I'm not prepared to make that statement. By the end of spring how much of a depth chart do you want to have? Well, like I said, you, you, you want to find the pieces to the puzzle. Now, where they're all actually going to fit once you get ready for game one, you, you don't know that. But the idea is to gauge where the players are, how they interact with one another, and where you think will be. you got to realize you got a whole other summer set where the kids will work in the summer and get better. And then as we go into fall camp, how we kind of set where we think we're at and where we'll evolve to uh, come the opening game. Do you want to have two guys in each spot basically coming out of the spring? Is that kind of your goal? Well, ideally, we'd like to have uh, more than that. You know, right. obviously, you, you know, every, everyone that's here, we want all of our players to be able to contribute in some form or fashion. So we're, we're trying to develop our roster, and that's what spring football is great for. We get a lot of guys, a lot of turns in different situations, and we hope they're improving as players because that improves our team. You knew about uh, Derek Green from recruiting, obviously, but uh, in, in watching game film, your impressions of the, the running backs group as a whole and how are you getting to know these guys? Well, I think when you look as the group of a whole, we really haven't established a runner. Um, there's a group of running backs right now, and that'll be an interesting competition to watch uh, the 
develop. I think that those guys have worked extremely hard. They're learning the system. Um, and, and the younger players, you talk about Derek, and, and you talk about a true freshman playing, and, and anytime you do that, uh, it's, it's difficult. So you don't want to make too much of an evaluation because you know there's still a lot of growth in the player.